I might be going crazy. So let me know so I can get some help if that's the case. But I've been, uh, well, I co-created Surrender Leadership over 10 years ago and I've been doing it ever since. And the last few years have been really inspired to share it and codify it more. And yeah, many just share the gift of it because it's, uh, it's an unbelievable gift for me to, to lead in that way. And, and the magic that I see happen through it quite often is so profound that I really want it to be out there for people uh, to benefit from it or to, to do it themselves. So the the madness thing is if I when I really tuned into like I, it's been doing my head in a little bit trying to codify it in the last week to uh, share this with you, but when I when I kind of felt into like what what is it? First I got got that it was love, and then then what what is it? And this is what I came up with. It's like this. It's like some kind of movement like this. And there you, there you have it. Uh, it's a little bit embarrassing. I don't know what to do now after sharing that. <laughs> no, I want to run away. For those of you who aren't deeply moved and uh, inspired by that, I have got a slightly more down to earth version as well of what surrendered leadership is. And it's, it's where the leader, when they're in their role of leadership, it's when they surrender in a, in a particular way that's, that's quite rare and quite humble and quite connecting and where they're really themselves and uh, they let go in a particular way that's um, very beautiful. And it seems to hold the potential to inspire a collective or like call forth a leadership from others and a kind of co-creation and journey into the unknown that everyone takes part in fully and everyone co-creates from there. And we, we did that in terms of surrendered leadership circles, which is the, the pure form, but we also believe that you can lead anything in that kind of way so when we lead our coaching training or when I lead anything and I lead in different contexts I still feel that essentially I'm leading in surrendered leadership I'm, I'm surrendering and I'm encountering what's in front of me in the moment and I'm holding the context but I'm paradoxically being transformed by what's in front of me and allowing that to lead me and yeah, as I, as I said, th three years ago, I, roughly, I felt the calling of like, I've got to share this because I was like, I feel like washed over by the magic of it. And more recently, I, I led a SAS in Stockholm and the event was so transformational for me and seemingly for, for everyone, like it seems such a powerful event. But for me, and I was leading and I'm being paid to be there. And I experienced it like an amazing retreat that I would pay to go on for myself. If it, if the the win winness of it seemed, I almost felt like I needed to keep it quiet afterwards because, like, how how could how could it be so good that such a powerful thing can happen? And I just feel like I'm getting all the benefits from it as well. So, yeah. I'm trying to share it and it is a mysterious thing and um, it's definitely the way that we try to share it is very experiential and that's why we have these uh, week-long events coming up and most of these week-longs are only for people who have done a SAS training but the one that's coming up in Costa Rica we're opening up for people who are experienced leaders or coaches or facilitators or circlers 
who want to deepen in this form of leadership and um, want to be able to lead in a more surrendered way, essentially. And it's in Uvita, beautiful part of Costa Rica. There's We're in a beautiful retreat center. There's a river there. Uh, there's a waterfall right next to it. The beach is incredible. So my plan is that we're quite, we obviously have a venue, but that we spend a lot of time in, the, in nature together and um, that it's quite organic. There'll be a lot of content, obviously, but I really want us to take in the environment together and, uh, yeah, see how that can work out. I, I've got a feeling it can be really special um, connecting to the environment there because it's so potent. 